It's a long journey. Started when I was 11 years old, and my uncle gave me the book. The same uncle that got me into Star Trek. Uh, I was a little bit of a geek in the day, and that was back before geek was a cool word. And so I've seen bullying, and I, you know, I'd moved around a lot to have a, a book that celebrated intelligence, and that you could use your smarts to hopefully become a leader and fit in. And, and you know, it was incredible. Never thought it would be uh, a movie back then. I, I, even I, as an 11 year old, thought this is unmakeable. <laughs> And then, you know, I finally, lucky enough to get into this industry, and actually one of the first things I checked out was, hey, what is the status of the rights of this book? And of course they were tied up, and people were trying to make it. And then cut to a few years later, and this amazing team comes together, Odd Lot manages to get the rights, uh, Digital Domain manages to have the technology, um, and Gavin Hood happens to write a great script that really adapts the novel in a way that's faithful, because a lot of the other adaptations that I'd heard of change things because they were afraid that the book was too challenging because it's not a traditional kind of a story and it's young protagonists with adult themes. Just kind of, you know, audiences I think are ready for it now and they're hungry and they've seen everything and you're not going to wow them with a regular old story. And that's why it's amazing to like come here and be able to actually celebrate with fans, you know, again this is one of those titles that's designed for this in that fans have kept this book alive. Um, this book doesn't belong to us, we didn't make it up, we didn't invent it, it's not our creation. It's something that we are stewards of right now. And that's what, and Comic-Con is made for that. It's made for letting uh, everyone into the process of what we're doing and, and agree or disagree with our decisions, at least you'll see that, that uh, we came at it to try and please ourselves as fans of the novel. Yeah, it makes me nervous, like you feel like you're about to go out there with the, the flying Walendas and do a trapeze act and hope that the like, Kyoich catch each other and that the audience doesn't boo you off of falling off your tightrope, you know? Um, the exciting part comes after you survive it and you're like, yes, but right now I'm just a little frightened. We got here last night and I actually did start to feel a little bit. I did start to see, because you forget and you start, you start to see posters and you see a few people walking around with t-shirts and you see, you start to feel like, wow, we're really going to have this child.